All right. Well, welcome, welcome back. Um, this is day number eighteen. I, I can't believe we're here at day number eighteen already. And I'm, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers, hoping that the uh, internet behaves today, and that uh, I'll actually remember to unmute myself like I did <laughs> yesterday. So um, anyway, thank you for tuning in. And of course, if you want to pop in the comments and and say hi, that's I always appreciate that. It's always great to see who is out there. So um, anyways, today, day number 18. Um, so kind of in the beginning of the month, I was really just uh, trying to be more intuitive, not really planning, not really thinking too much about what I was doing. But over the last few days, I've kind of uh, honed in on on some ideas and was trying, um, trying to like Put a little bit more thought into it and and a little bit more intention and and because i feel like okay i'm i'm discovering some things i've discovered that there are certain ideas and certain things that uh that i enjoy doing or that i'm drawn to and it's helping me kind of figure out a lot of stuff so uh today um I, actually, before I even started the uh, live stream, I was I was doing a uh, time lapse video, and I just posted that like ten minutes before I went live. But um, so it, the time lapse videos take like two to three hours to do, and I'm working in a very large large journal. And so today, I, I just was kind of working in it, and I got onto an idea that I really really liked, and uh, using some of the same things that I've been using. Um, in these daily exercises. So I just kind of felt like, oh, this is, there's something here. And so I think for today's little daily work, I'm going to kind of explore a similar idea and maybe kind of talk through kind of things. So that, that's the thing is like, I was working on it and I wasn't sure how it was going to develop. And it just like, I, I started one thing and was like, okay, then an idea popped up and then another idea. And these things started kind of like following into, into place. And I really felt like, oh, this, this feels right. There's something about this imagery. There's something about the way I'm working today that just really kind of feels right. And so I want to kind of carry that into today. So anyway, um, yeah. So uh, really what I've been thinking about and what I kind of got on today and, and what, I, what I called, what I was kind of calling um, my time-lapse video was this idea of, of a journey. And it was about the journey of, self-discovery and I, I think I'm kind of figuring out like maybe that's what my artwork is about right now and um, I, I really kind of got into this mindset and and I like I was saying I really really felt like I was getting onto something and uh, I mean the idea of journey I've been using lots of maps lots of mapping marks um, and you know this notion that I, 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 don't, I don't know why I'm doing it so kind of leading myself uh, in my own discovery so trying to figure out and discover some things about my art and and why I'm making it is kind of where I am now so um, anyway so I, I want to go ahead and jump in so feel free to to make along with me and of course as always if you want to sort of follow along and kind of um, you know use what I do as inspiration great if you're just totally making something different that's fine too remember this is just about us coming together and making some art together. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and switch it over. Now I got my four and a half by, uh, or my four by four inch uh, paper. I've got my watercolor paints. Um, I was using kind of a green color scheme in my time-lapse video today. So I think I want to do something a little bit different. Um, I think I'm gonna go back to this golden color and I just want to scribble down, brush in some some color, just to kind of get things started. Oh, that's really bright. Let me go ahead and adjust. That's the problem. It's like I think I've got the exposure adjusted properly, and then it's like, oh no, that's a little too bright. But I don't want it to go too dark. Eh, maybe there. I mean, yellow is a light color anyway, so. Um, yeah, it might not show up as well.
I'm going to break out my uh, Derwent ink tense paints as well because I, I'm going for more of the earthy colors I think is kind of what I'm feeling today so some of this this ochre So if you're just tuning in and you want to pop into the comments and say hi, it's always awesome to see who's out there watching. And of course, if you have questions or comments, of course, yeah, pop those in there as well. So I'm just kind of I'm just kind of letting that uh, sit a little bit, and uh, kind of let some of those dots dry, and then I can take my paintbrush, kind of rinse it out, and then um, brush over. And I like doing this because then not all the dots disappear, but I can kind of make some of the wetter dots kind of streak. And maybe make the uh, the dots not so harsh. Now because this is the core um, watercolor paints, it's not as permanent as the ink tents. So the ink tents, they claim that you know when they're dry, they're more permanent, they don't lift as much. Um, but regular watercolor can, you know, so you kind of re-wet it, you can lighten it. Um, and so it's it's allowing me to to sort of streak and spread some of that around. So as I was saying, some of you may have missed it. I'm kind of using um, something I did earlier for my um, time lapse video that I just posted on social media, um, and so I'm kind of following a very similar similar um, process. So I, I kind of did a couple different colors of the watercolor, kind of splattered some, and now I'm just taking a uh, this is a, an orange art uh, pit artist pen, and I'm going to create some lines. But when I was doing this earlier on the journal spread, um, I really was thinking about like a journey, you know, it's like this notion of kind of wandering. And so I was letting my hand wander to kind of create the lines. And then, but what I was thinking about is like, you know, if that's one person's journey, well, there are other people, right? So we there's other people in our lives, and sometimes they kind of go on a similar journey. They're kind of following along with us. But, you know, sometimes they go off and do their own thing, and then they come back, and they're part of our lives, and then they kind of go off and do their own thing, and maybe we never see them again. Um, so really kind of thinking about how these lines can be used to sort of represent, I mean, it's kind of like mapping, but it's, it's kind of representing the journey of different people. And I'm using this lighter 
pen because I want the lines to be there, but I don't want them to be real dominant yet. I'll switch to other colors um, in a little bit. And of course, you know, there, there are sometimes people come into our lives that, you know, we just sort of cross paths with them and we never see them again. And so kind of thinking about these lines like roads, like each person's individual journey. And so we have lots of people that kind of, that are kind of uh, going, f going with us on our journey. Um, and then there are other people that maybe we never meet them and they're on their own journey. So just, this is helping me kind of divide up the space. It's creating, the lines are creating some kind of uh, texture, some visual texture in the background. Okay, so um, there's that. I'm gonna do something a little bit different than I did in the, um, the time-lapse video today. I'm gonna turn to my Inktense pencils. And this is nothing new for me, but it's a little bit different than what I did today. And just because it's, it's a different piece of art and I had a different thought. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in some of my squares, which if you've tuned in, you probably are not surprised at that. And one of the things that I was thinking about as I was working on that uh, time-lapse video today, you know, I was working in a big 11 by 14 inch journal, so really, you know, a 14 by 22 inch space. Um, and I, I kind of was thinking about this idea that it's not just a journey, it's, it's kind of like you're remembering the journey. So like when we think back over our lives and we're trying to remember, you know, how did we get here? You know, and there are certain things that really stand out. Other things that are a little bit more hard to recollect. And I find that the older I get, the harder certain things are to, uh, to um, recollect. Like this morning, I was walking and for some reason I was thinking about college, which was almost 30 years ago. And I was trying to think about my roommate that I had, I couldn't remember his last name. And of course, just right now, it's like, oh, I remember his last name now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like, you know, when we think back, it's like things are kind of hazy. Some things are very clear. Some things are kind of hazy. So I'm kind of thinking of, of this, uh, you know, these squares and rectangles as kind of windows into the past maybe I just thought of that it kind of sounds good but you know it's like it's clear inside of it but it gets a little bit murky around it so just like really thinking about our journey and for me you know, it's like in my journal and in a lot of artwork, I use words specifically to, you know, give the piece a very explicit meaning. You know, it's like when you read the words, it's like, oh, okay, that piece is about, you know, that word because it's written all over it. And so one of the things I've been trying to do this month is not use those words and really kind of think in more symbolic terms. And so I think that's what the pieces that I'm working on today, you know, the time-lapse video and this. So if you haven't seen the time-lapse video, when we're done with the live stream, check it out because it's right there on my Facebook feed.
so what's interesting with this is you know taking this idea that I had from this large journal like I said it's you know 14 by 22 inches and then translating that notion into this small four inch by four inch piece so it's kind of like well will it translate will this notion work on such a scale will it work in this format so just using some pencil to draw in some of those kind of journey marks those lines And it's those those marks are kind of subtle. They're in the back. Oh, they're in the background. Um, and I'll use the red, and this is going to be a little bit more distinct. Maybe, yeah. Shows up a little bit stronger. So these are just very organic kind of lines. You know, thinking about our journey through life is very organic. to my poppy red and I want to do some circles And I kind of think of these circles as uh, those moments that we really kind of remember with clarity, maybe big events, important milestones. But you know, it's trying to show this stuff in a more symbolic way and not just, oh, here's my journey to self-discovery because that's what it says. So over the years, this color combination has become one of my favorites. So using these kind of yellows and ochres and browns and then pairing it uh, with some, some red. So 
So if you ever take a look on my website or look through some of my art, especially from you know a while back, you'll see that this color scheme pops up a lot. And so I still like to come back and use it. Especially kind of thinking about like, you know, how how I can explore new ideas. Already it's kind of interesting to see the difference between the two. Um, so again, if, if you're just tuning in, is I'm basing what I'm doing today on a, a video, a, a, a two-page spread that I did for a time-lapse video today. So it's Friday, and every Friday I try to do something I call Journal Friday. And um, I haven't been able to do it on a regular basis over the last few months and I didn't do it last week but this week I was able to jump in and do one and so I just sit down and spend about two to three hours working on a two-page spread and uh, you know just like I've been doing with this series those spreads often are just kind of random trusting my intuition but today I really kind of got onto this this idea of of self-discovery and, and that journey to that self-discovery. And so I thought I'd take some of those ideas and see how it translated into this smaller work. But seeing that red there, it looks like my, uh, <laughs> looks like my, my piece is sick. It's got the pox or something. a little bit of this reddish brown just kind of put it around some of the red circles just to bring in a little bit more contrast.
out of here. I think I'm going to do some collage next. I'll use my trusty security on
and you hit that with the hair dryer. I do find that the hair dryer really helps bond the uh, the glue stick. Just seems to help out so that things don't peel off if you paint over them. And I'm gonna go back. This time I think I'm gonna use this darker brown. turn to some of my bingo card numbers. Yeah, I've just really been been uh, digging uh, using the numbers 
And I think part of it is that uh, numbers are just such a part of our lives. Everything from our social security number to our telephone numbers. Um, but we see numbers everywhere. You know? Buses have numbers and just kind of when I think about like if I'm if I'm looking back reflecting on my journey of life you know it's like there might be numbers that stick out whether it's an old phone number or um, just really anything I think the the ambiguity of the numbers is something that's interesting because it's it's sort of like well what what do these numbers mean why are they there and you know as as the artists you know we might feel like oh well we need to have a real solid reason for that but just sort of thinking about like well it's kind of ambiguous and I think if it's kind of, if it's a bit ambiguous, then when people are looking at it, they have they have to participate. They they have to kind of say, well, oh, it could mean this. And I think if we explicitly always say this is what this means, then we kind of uh, do all the work for the viewer. Okay, I think I'm going to turn to my black pen. So I'm going to go back to some of these journey marks, I guess is the best way of describing them. But again, like if, if the line represents somebody's journey through life, you know, it's going to twist and turn go in different directions. It's not going to be a straight line. But then also if we kind of think back to our journey, if we're, we're trying to remember our journey, I think sometimes, you know, we don't remember it exactly the way it happened. We were looking back through foggy memory. We're looking back uh, through years or even just, you know, our the emotions that we were feeling at the time and so that can change or color the way we reflect and think and remember and so that's why I'm kind of drawing this path several times number one it, it makes it bold and makes it stand out and I'm using a slightly thicker pen than the other ones that I used but it's like, you know, every time we remember our journey, we remember it a little bit differently. And I don't want that just to be the only black. So I'm going to turn to my extra super fine pen and add some. These are going to be a bit more random.
I'm just using the black pen to outline uh, some of the shapes, the numbers, and the circles. Just bring in these really thick, dark lines. They're, the dark lines are really going to bring contrast in, but then also um, bring, well, I'd say uni unity, but I think the piece is pretty unified with the way I repeated things. But the just having a few bold lines here and there would be kind of odd. So by repeating them helps tie the pieces together. I am noticing that this little part right here is like really popping out because it's so light compared to the other. So I'm going to take a little bit of the paint. Maybe that needs to go into others. I think I want to add 
one last kind of detail. Use my red pen. It's probably not going to show up super well, but I just kind of feel like I want to have radiating lines from this biggest circle. Right, I'm thinking this one's done. Hmm. Oops, wrong pen. All right, so there we have day number 18. Um, again, just now I'm really f trying to think, trying to be a little bit more uh, intentional with my art making. So started out the month a little bit more intuitive, just sort of kind of going with the flow, still kind of trying to allow things to, de to develop. So even though I did that uh, journal spread earlier in the day, I didn't just be like, oh, okay, I'm just going to copy it. I'm just going to um, uh, you know, remake it. It's, it's sort of like I'm translating it. I'm trying to, to use the idea and, um, explore it, you know? So that's the thing is like, we, we find something we're like, oh, this is really interesting to me. And we keep trying it out. We keep tweaking it. We, we say to ourselves like, oh, well, what if I did it this way? Or what if I added this? Or what if I used these colors or what if I use these shapes instead of those so um, yeah it's it, it's kind of going back to that notion of plagiarizing yourself um, thinking back to yesterday and even the day before when I was doing that uh, organic uh, form so um, anyway just just I can't believe it's already another day so if you have any questions or comments, put them in the, the comments and I'll take a look and see if anybody asked anything that I can answer. So Kathy had asked about um, the older videos. So yeah, so... Um, when I live stream, it's automatically saved to Facebook. So you can either scroll down through um, my feed or there is a live tab, which I'm not sure it might be at the top. It might be over 
on the side um, but you can click on that and that's all the videos or just click on the videos and um, all the the live stream videos are there so the ones that I share where it's like sped up that's that's usually from YouTube so these videos are are on um, on Facebook so that's where they start and then later I upload them to, to YouTube as well because I'm recording it to my computer so it's recorded to Facebook and it's there um, you can watch them anytime through Facebook or you can go back uh, on my YouTube channel and um, I put them there so uh, anyway that's where you can find find the uh, videos so but yeah so if anybody else has any questions or, or comments feel free to to put them in the comments and I'll try to answer them if not now then a little bit later so um, yeah so I'm glad to see that the internet held up and glad to see that uh, I didn't have to stop and <laughs> I didn't have to unmute myself and all that so Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, so the classes that I'm doing now um, yeah so if you can't do them in real time uh, what I do is I record the zoom classes and then um, I, I send out links to those so that you can watch them anytime uh, so there I house them on Vimeo because I password protect them um, so if you sign up and you're like oh I can't make the class but I can watch um, yeah so I, I, I make make the uh, videos available um, for at least uh, 60 days after the class ends so um, anyway but all right well Thank you all so much. Really appreciate you tuning in for day number 18. Uh, I may not be here over the weekend. Um, we'll see what my schedule is like over the weekend. And uh, if not, I will be back here on Monday, same time, 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in again. I really, really appreciate it.